Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and welcome back if you are a subscriber and welcome if you are a new subscriber. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. As you can see by the title, today is going to be a review video on my small Sutton MD Wallace bag that I got for Christmas. When I saw this bag initially, I was freaking flipping out. I was looking at their normal like silver color that they have on the website and I really wanted that one. But then when I saw this holographic one, I was just like, whoa. I saw, of course, um, on their Instagram, and I saw, I think, the large or the medium metro tote. Um, but I recently have come to the realization that my favorite MZ Wallace style of bag is the small Sutton, and here is why. So, the small Sutton is my favorite because it is a small bag, but it is not that small you can fit a lot in these bags um my mom has two medium suttons and to this day she will tell you that she wishes she got the small ones after she got a small one um it's just the perfect size bag it's not too big it's not too small um like the like all of the suttons it comes with a crossbody strap and two handles so that you can carry it in your hand or in the middle of your arm because the straps aren't long enough to put over your shoulder. It's a perfect size for all seasons. She has a leather detailing. She has leather zippers, leather on the handles, silver hardware, a gray cross body strap that is quite the long one i'm a big girl and this crossbody strap fits me perfectly um i can extend it all the way and it can be a little too long for me or you know i can bring it back up um but it, they extend pretty well for my bigger girls who are interested in a crossbody bag um the crossbody strap is detachable and what I love about the small Sutton, I think the, the other Sutton does this too, the medium. I think there's a medium and a large Sutton. But I think they, they all do this for sure. Um, when you take off the strap, you take the strap off the, you know, the clasp, you can close it down. Let me take my hand out. You can close it down and attach it there like that on both sides. And you can carry it like this. without the crossbody strap. I freaking love this bag. I already had a small Sutton, which is why I knew that whatever MZ Wallace bag that I got next, I wanted it to be the small Sutton because it's just the perfect size bag. Um, of course, it has the MZ Wallace logo there in silver. Um, on the inside, um, like all the MZ Wallace bags, you get um, two little pockets there. And the inside of this one is yellow, which kind of scared me a little bit because I don't want to get dirty. But I mean, it's the inside of the bag and it comes with that zipper um, inside pocket with the MZ Wallace logo on there. And then it also comes, so I'm going to take the paper off this. It also comes with one medium size pouch inside with a leather zipper that is also yellow on the inside i'm really happy that the actual um zipper on it is not silver I, I like that it matches the um the color of the bag and if i didn't say the style of the bag already it's the holographic metallic sun which you could have guessed and this bag is 235 dollars i highly recommend it i will say my mom told me that when she went and got it, the workers there were telling her that the bag is very delicate and that you have to be careful with it. Now, me personally, I don't like things that I have to take like super precaution with when I wear them because I'm just kind of a rough girl sometimes and I don't want to... Oh, crap. See, look. Drop my damn bag. I don't want to have to worry about, you know, um, something that costs so much getting messed up 
because when I, I like I, I wear my shit like I wear my stuff I don't just you know pick things up every once in a while like I wear my stuff and I don't want to have to worry about that so I contemplated whether or not I wanted to exchange it for a different style um, but I decided to keep it because it's a limited edition bag and it's just so damn cute. I don't have any light colored NZ Wallace bags like this one. I don't have any light colored ones. All of them are like a darker color. Like I highly recommend any of the NZ Wallace small Sutton bags. It's the perfect size. I think it's very unnecessary for you to get a medium Sutton because you really don't need it. It's, it's damn near the same amount of space unless you're getting it for the shape because the medium Sutton is a little longer. But I think this is the perfect size bag. I can't wait to wear this in the summertime. I'm trying not to wear it so much now. So that it's not, you know, like, so it's still kind of fresh for the summer. And the leather doesn't patina before the summer. But, you know, the bag is, the bag is beautiful, baby. Look at it. Look at she. She. She's beautiful. Oh, my God. I've worn it out. It looks amazing in the sunlight. So freaking cute. I think that this bag is a great neutral, honestly, to have because I feel like it can go with so many things. If you're looking to get an MZ Wallace bag, I really think you should go with the small Sutton. Um, as if you're if it's your first purchase, I think this would be a great first purchase um to get from MZ Wallace because of the size and um how versatile this bag is. On my last MZ Wallace video. I got an email from a viewer um, who wanted to know how much my Metro Tote could fit in it. And I never, I didn't show that. But the Metro Totes are huge. And it's literally like a carry-on, like a weekend bag. Like you can fit outfits in that bag and makeup and your shit. You can fit a lot in that bag. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to do a little... um demonstration of how much you can fit in here okay guys so just to give you kind of an idea of how much stuff can fit in this bag i just kind of grabbed some like products from around the house to show you um in the bag so i have this let me make sure everything's closed tight because i'm messing up my bag okay this is a jar 16 ounces i'm gonna put that in the bag and body works body creams they're eight ounces next to my head you can see how much how big they are I'm gonna put two of those in the bag. Cocoa butter lotions um, that are 8.5 fluid ounces. It's two of those. You can see how big that is next to my head. Those in there, 16.9 fluid ounces. You can see how big that is next to my head. 16 um, fluid ounces. And you can see how big that is. And I'm gonna put that in there. So all of that is in my bag right now. And it seems to have filled it up. I don't recommend you put things this heavy in your bag and carry it around. Bag is full and it's zipped and that is how much stuff just fit in that bag. Just so you can get kind of a idea of how much stuff can fit in this bag. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And um, if you have any questions at all, you can leave it in the comments. And I will get back to you for sure, okay? So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.